everybody, this is the finale race here in the Napa Truck Series, but before we get to the race, I'm just going to show you guys the points. Tyler Selzman is the points leader over seven points, uh, by, uh, oh, by seven points over here, Joe Arvin Alonzo. Cameron Growington is ten points behind Tyler Selzman. Cameron Gaju is 13 points behind Tyler Selzman, and Dejon Weeks is um, 18 points behind Tyler Selzman. Guys like Aaron Walpole and Darlene Kenyon still have a shot as well, uh, but they are both 25 points behind Tyler Selzman, so it would be kind of a slim chance for those guys to possibly come up and win the championship. But uh, we will see what happens here in the Chick-fil-A 200 in the Napa Truck Series. So uh, here we go. Let's get racing at Homestead for the finale race in the Napa Truck Series season number one. And here we are at the Homestead Miami Speedway for the Chick-fil-A 200, the finale race in season number one of the Napa Truck Series. Hello, everybody. This is Napa Fan here, and this is the Chick-fil-A 200. And uh, as I showed you guys the points earlier, a lot of the guys uh, that are eligible for the championship can uh, strike and get enough points to win it, are starting kind of deep in the field. Let's get to the starting lineup. Ferdinand uh, Gabbat starts on the pole for the final race of the season. Joffrey Dusan is alongside him. we got Austin Spencer, Tristan Walker, LJ Mills, Zachary Fitzwater, Dejon Weeks, Dana Mon, Eric Powers, Caleb Hoffman, Cameron Gaju, Jacob Reed, Garrett Zanor, Eric Hyden, Biff Crafton, hmm, Nicholas Amadio, second in points, he is seven points off the lead. Hair gel Arvin Alonzo. Um, you got Dale Salzman, Richard Schaffner, Aaron Walpole, Max Newerf, Alan Cavagnero, Darlin Kenyon, Trey Barto, points leader Tyler Selzman, Mason Towers, uh, Cameron Garlington is ten points off of the points lead. Clint Buchanan, Dean Wickard, Stuart Gratton, Matt Delio, and Warren Henniger. And I forgot to mention Cameron Gaju in the uh, 57. He has 13 points off of the points lead. Those are the four drivers who have uh, pretty much the best shot at winning this championship. Points leader right now is Tyler Selzman. Uh, and we will follow uh, mostly on Selzman and see where he is in relation to everyone else behind him in the points. Uh, and not so much on the lead in the race. Uh, so just keep that in mind uh, for this event. So Ferdinand Gabbat is going to lead us to the green flag here in the Chick-fil-A for our 200, I should say. But I've been saying 400, I do apologize. I am a little foggy-headed. Uh, but this is a Chick-fil-A 200 here in the Napa Truck Series. So we're going to follow here with the number two of Tyler Selzman, the points leader here. But as they stand right now, Harajal Arvin Alonzo would win the championship. He's actually ahead uh, by more than seven positions on Tyler Selzman. And now we give him enough points to take the points lead over uh, from the two of Selzman there. And I don't think that Cameron got you. Uh, he actually might be ahead enough. So it, it could be Gaju that could win the championship, but it's really hard to tell how this will all play out. We'll see uh, how the two does. He needs to finish at least seven positions higher uh, than Hergel Arvin Alonso if he wants to win this championship. And Alonso is going to get right to the inside lane on the first lap, so he wants to kind of move to this inside lane and get a run there. Uh, as long as you're on the inside lane, uh, that's pretty good to, uh, to get up front uh, in the race. A good place to be. Right now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Sorry, five cars in between Alonso and Selzman. But Cameron Gaju in the 57. Uh, I think Gaju right now uh, would be the champion the way it's running because he is right now running 10th. Harajal Arvin Alonso is running in 18th. So that would uh, allow Gaju to get more points than Harajal Arvin Alonso. And Alonso is far enough ahead of Tyler Selzman uh, that Alonso would probably be ahead of Selzman. Actually, maybe not. But I know for sure that Gaju has enough position on Tyler Selzman to take the points lead right now. So Cameron Gaju, at the way they are running, would be the champion. So that's an interesting thing right there. Gaju is fourth in points coming into this race. We also have Cameron Garlington. Uh, he's 10 points off of the points lead, but he's running deep in the field in this number 10, running 29th. And if he wants to get up front, he's got to get to that inside lane and stay there. 
We'll see here. The 39. He's going to get passed here by Max Newworth in the 08. But Selzman's going to get shoved to the middle lane. And how Herr Del Arvin Alonso won the HERS Elimination Series Championship earlier was uh, by running on the middle lane. He was able to win that race and win the championship over there, trying to get it two championships in one day for Herr Joel Arvin Alonso. It's very possible, uh, but right now it is Cameron Gaju who is in the championship lead the way they are running uh, at the moment. Jacob Reed going to try to get underneath of him, though, and that's going to put Gaju in the middle lane. No. Nope. Gaju gets a run. And it's been Ferdinand Gabat out front for pretty much this whole race. And, uh, you know, that would be the closest anyone would have gotten to winning the quadruple crown. And uh, nobody did it so far. Nobody has done it so far, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, if Joffrey Toussaint won this race and swept the other two series, uh, then he would win it. He's still got a shot. But uh, Ferdinand Gabad, he had a win in the Hurst Elimination Series, a win in the Crown Royal Series, uh, but he will not be in the Cup Series race. Uh, so if he does happen to win this one, that's as close as he's going to get to the quadruple crown. And I don't think anyone's going to win that, so no extra reserves for anybody because uh, nobody's going to be able to complete the task. But somebody who is completing the task pretty well here is Cameron Gaju in the number 57. Right now running in 7th place, trying to win the Napa Truck Series Championship. The 39 of Hergel Arvin Alonso uh, is right now... Not in a position where he would be the points or, or be ahead of Tyler Selzman in the points lead, but Cameron Gaju is far enough ahead that he would get in front of Tyler Selzman uh, for the points lead, and uh, it's really, really, really good uh, looking good for uh, Cameron Gaju in this number 57 to win the championship. Dana Mon trying to move his way up. Gaju's kind of running a middle lane in turns three and four, and that actually gives him a good push. But uh, it might shoot him to the outside lane because he's now stuck on the outside of Dana Mon. And I'm surprised no one has been able to get by Vernon Gabat for the lead in this race. That's pretty interesting there. But uh, Cameron Gaju, just, he wants to stay uh, 13 positions ahead of Tyler Selzman. Right now, he is running 6th. And actually, he might get 5th because he's got a really good run off the outside. Uh, but he's right now running 6th, and Tyler Selzman is running in 20... Uh, hold on just a minute, we'll get this 23rd. That is more than 13 positions, and that means that Gaju would have the points lead over Tyler Selzman, and Gaju's far enough ahead of Herjo Larvin Alonso uh, as well that, uh, it, that Alonso wouldn't be a problem. Alonso's actually falling closer to Tyler Selzman, so that's good for Selzman. Uh, and uh, if Selzman closes in within 13 positions of Cameron Gaju... And uh, within seven positions of here, Jalar and Alonso, he would win the championship. But Gaji right now is well more than th 13 positions ahead of uh, Tyler Selzman, and it's looking very, very good for the number 57. We are halfway through the Chick-fil-A 200 here in the Napa Truck Series. And as they will run right now, Cameron Gaju would be your Napa Truck Series championship champion. I'm worse than Marty Reed. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> My announcing has gotten really bad over this season, and uh, I do greatly apologize. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but uh, you know what? I do my best, so thank you guys very much for uh, hanging in there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Alonzo, he stuck three wide on the outside, and here comes Selzman. He's going to get a run underneath of uh, the 08 who is running side-by-side side with Alonzo, and it looks not really looking too good for Herjel Arvin Alonzo right now. So now the battle is probably between Cameron Gaju and Tyler Selzman. An interesting thing here, Gaju just got put three wide on the outside. And uh, speaking of three wide, Tristan Walker and uh, Joffrey Toussaint. Well, Toussaint's not going to get underneath a Walker, but Tristan Walker with the first pass for the lead in this race so far, and Tristan Walker is going to take the lead in the Chick-fil-A 200. Cameron Gaju right now running in ninth place. Tyler Selzman running in 23rd. That is 14 positions. 
That means that Cameron Gaji would win the championship by one point. That is how close it is right now. Tyler Selzman, I don't think, as long as he's passed Alonzo, which he hasn't, Alonzo can still do something here. Alonzo still has a good uh, shot at this. He's running the outside lane, trying to get a run up there. He's right now... Um, let me see here. He's right now uh, only three positions ahead of Tyler Selzman. That would not be enough for Alonzo to get past Selzman in the points. Cameron Gaju is right now running in ninth place, and I think Selzman's running 23rd. So it is still 14 positions in between uh, Cameron Gaju and Tyler Selzman. Now, the tiebreaker would be wins. And if uh, that is tied, then it would be whoever had whoever uh, finished ahead of the other driver more often. If that doesn't happen, then it's second place finishes. That's how the tiebreakers go uh, when, we, when it comes to points here in the Napa Truck Series and all series on Napa Fan. Tristan Walker could not get by Ferdinand Gabat in the 32. And nobody has been able to get by the 32. There's been a lot of passing for second, but hardly any for first place. And it's looking really good for uh, Ferdinand Gabat to win the last race of the season. Gaju running 8th. Selzman running 24th. That's 16 positions. Alonzo, I just don't think he's going to get uh, ahead of Selzman enough to take the to get ahead of him in points. But it's all going to come down to what Gaju does here at later goings of this one. And I think this is Austin Spencer taking the lead here in the race. And interestingly enough, all Austin Spencer would need to do, if he can uh, get this win, all he would need to do is win the Cup Series race. And if he did that, he would win the Quadruple Crown. Trying to get a run underneath of the 32, he might just do it. And now it is crunch time. Two laps to go when we cross the line next time by the 57. Still on the inside lane. He's going to be in the middle lane now. A good race for the lead, though. They're not going three wide. That's Eric Powers trying to get a run. He can't do it. And Austin Spencer takes the lead from Ferdinand Gavat. Gaju running in. Ninth. Selzman. 25th. We'll see how it is. Here it is. The white flag in the Chick-fil-A 200 in the Napa Truck Series. Austin Spencer is your leader. What will Cameron Gaju do? He is running ninth at the moment. Tyler Selzman trying to close up to him enough to take the points lead from him, but he's right now running 24th. Can Cameron Gaju come from 4th to 1st in the point standings to win the Napa Truck Series Championship? He goes to the inside of Biff Crafton. We'll see where he finishes. Anyways, Austin Spencer is going to win the race. Cameron Gaju finishes in ninth place, Tyler Selzman finished in 23rd. Cameron Gaju is your season one Napa Truck Series champion. He was able to do it. He finished. It was really close, but 14 positions ahead of Tyler Selzman. And if they tied, in fact... Gaju would have the advantage because he won two races this season. Uh, so there is your champion, folks. Cameron Gaju and the number 57 wins the Napa Truck Series Championship for season number one. He's going to return to that ride in season number two, uh, which actually will be pretty shortly. Um, about, I'd say, three or so weeks we'll have season number two uh, coming back up in the Napa Truck Series. So looking forward to that. And how about that? Cameron Gaju, I'm pretty sure he's a champion. He finished 14 positions ahead. And uh, he is your Napa Truck Series champion, Cameron Gaju, in the number 57. There are the official results. Austin Spencer, the winner of the Chick-fil-A 200 here in the Napa Truck Series. And if he can get the win in the Cup Series race, he would win the quadruple crown and get a reserve uh, for all four series once they return here on Napa Fan. Uh, so congratulations to him on winning, and congratulations to Cameron Gaju. Ninth place finish to round out the year for him, and that's going to win him the championship. Tyler Selton, 23rd place. Um, let's see here. Like, if he got... Let's, let me just figure this out here. 
If you got 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, yes, Cameron Godjo got 14 more points than Tyler Selsman, and uh, that's going to put Cameron Godjo in the points lead by one point. A very close championship, but Cameron Godjo is the one who is going to pull it off. So, congratulations to him on winning the Napa Truck Series Championship. And uh, that's a good one for him. Good friend of mine, and uh, really nice to see him win a championship here on Napa Fan. Really nice to see that. Really nice. And uh, congratulations to Austin Spencer on winning the race. Um, didn't really follow that too much, but he got the lead late from Fernand Gabat, and uh, he's going to be he's going to close the season off with a win. So a good run for Austin Spencer there. But Cameron Gaju closes off the season with the championship. So thank you guys very much for watching the Napa Truck Series this season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And the next race is going to be the Crown Royal Series finale. It will be the Chick-fil-A 300 right here at the Homestead Miami Speedway. So thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Austin Spencer. And congratulations to Cameron Gaju for winning the Napa Truck Series Championship. I will see you guys later. Already made up my mind. And I'm not going to waste my time. No, I'm not going to waste my time.